Pakistan, the land of many splendors, myths and mystery. Gateway to an unexplored world and a land of countless facets, sights and sounds. territory that contains some of Asia's most inspiring landscapes, a multitude of cultures and a deeply hospitable people. Here is Pakistan, where myth meets reality. A young nation with an ancient past, the 180 million Pakistanis inhabit a landmass of more than 796,096 square kilometers comprises the 6th most populous country and owns the 36th largest piece of sovereign land on planet Earth. Islamabad, nestled in the lush green Margala Hills, is one of the most modern and beautiful capital cities of the world. The seat of government, judiciary and the legislature. The picturesque city is known more for its scenic views, well-designed driveways and numerous getaways. It in fact reflects the progress of Pakistan as a nation. The metropolitan city of Karachi is one of the world's largest cities and the 20th largest metropolitan areas in the world. It is Pakistan's premier center of banking, industry and trade. Karachi is home to Pakistan's largest corporations, including those that are involved in textiles, shipping, automotive industry, entertainment, the arts, fashion, advertising, publishing, software development and medical research. Karachi was ranked as a beta world city of 2008. The River Indus, truly the lifeline of Pakistan, empties itself into the Arabian Sea, where Pakistan shares a 1200 km long coastline with this mid-sea, which joins the strategic oil line of Persian Gulf with the Indian Ocean. Quetta is known as the fruit garden of Pakistan. It is diverse in plant and animal wildlife. The city has been a major stronghold along the western frontier of the country. Quetta sits near the Durand line border with Afghanistan which makes the city an important marketing and communication center for Pakistan with the neighboring country. Lahore, a favorite resting place of the Mughals, also treasures numerous palaces, tombs and relics of the great dynasty. Sayyid Ali Hajveri, popularly referred to as Hazrat Dada Ganj Paksh and one of the many revered saints of the subcontinent, is buried in the hearts of the walled city of Lahore, near the banks of River Ravi, where his shrine attracts millions of devotees every day. Today it is popularly known for its booming entertainment industry, eating delights and numerous festivities. The Spring Festival, Horse and Cattle Show and the Industrial Exhibition are celebrated with great fervor. Peshawar. Peshawar is recognized as one of the oldest living cities in Asia. Located on the edge of the Khyber Pass, Peshawar is known for its delicious cuisine, hospitality, commercial activity and culture.
women are treated with great respect and honor as a highly productive section of Pakistani society. Today, more and more women are seen in all spheres of national and public life as professionals and skilled workers, ensuring not only a healthy working environment, but a promising economy as well. Tarbila Dam on River Indus, built at a height of 148 meters above the riverbed, with a reservoir size of about 250 square kilometers, makes it the largest earth-filled dam in the world. Besides ensuring steady flow of water for irrigation purposes throughout this year, the dam is also the main hydro power generation source of the country, with a capacity of 3,478 megawatt. The Mangla Dam is world's 12th largest dam. It is situated further east of the country on River Chelum and was primarily built to strengthen the country's irrigation system. However, it also has a power generation capacity of 1000 megawatt. Pakistan has a legacy of being fervently referred to as the food basket of the world. A traditionally agro-based economy, its fertile lands, once irrigated by the massive flooding, are one of the world's largest networks of canals and waterways today. Truly the backbone of the national economy, producing about 23% of GDP, and absorbing 43% of labor force, the known cash crops are wheat, cotton, sugarcane, rice and tobacco besides others. In fact, the Pakistani brand of basmati rice is a novelty worldwide. And when it comes to fruits, there's hardly a match for the delicious mangoes and citrus from Pakistan. The vast cotton fields of the country's south harvested since the early Mohenjo-daro days have been supporting the thriving textile industry for ages. The past continues to live with the present as traditional Persian wheels and hand looms ensure the steady supply of several exquisite traditional fabrics. While on the other hand, hundreds of gigantic power looms churning out lengths of quality fabrics in the city of Faisalabad have earned this industrial town the title of Pakistan's Manchester. The country's industrial base also prides for its heavy and large-scale manufacturing sector, which has shown a double-digit growth in recent years. The major industries include cement, fertilizer, steel, chemicals and machinery. Sialkot, off the banks of River Chenab, is known worldwide for its top-class sports industry, surgical equipment and leather items. Owing to the growing needs of the country, smaller coastal ports have also been improved into major cargo handling points. Of these, Gwadar is the latest development, which is almost completed and in December 2008, it started handling shipping operations. The railways form the lifeline of the country by catering to its needs for large-scale movement of freight as well as passenger traffic. Pakistan prides to have the best road network, which plays a pivotal role in the national economy with a total road length exceeding 260,000 kilometers, an impressive structure of more than 10,000 kilometers of motorways, expressways and highways at its center. Most modern and world-class airport facilities are fast replacing the old structures. Almost every major city has an airport, from the extreme northern town of Skardu that virtually touches the roof of the world to the barren plains of Balochistan. 
In fact, this stable and dependable infrastructure of Pakistan has played a vital role in the gradual progress of its economy. Despite global recession, the global war on terror and the escalating prices in the energy sector, Pakistan's firm economic foundations and a stable infrastructure have enabled the nation to withstand the challenges of the world market. In recent years, telecommunications and services sector have also seen a boom, attracting the largest chunk of international collaboration. Telecom sector has shown a record growth in recent years. The Pakistan Telecommunication Authority reports that today, the nation has over 22 million internet users. The service sector, with the booming banking, insurance, media, storage and transportation subsectors, accounts for 53% of the national GDP. This marked growth is the direct result of the easy availability of human resource made possible by advancing educational standards and quality institutes. Pakistan today has a total number of 132 universities and degree awarding institutes imparting quality education and research in advanced engineering, medicine, IT and other fields of arts and sciences. A nation of harmony, Pakistanis have also made significant strides in the field of sports. Though hockey is officially the national sport, it's cricket that reigns the hearts of many. Nevertheless, squash, wrestling, snooker, rowing and in recent times athletics have also seen Pakistani flag going high. Thus, Pakistan blessed with the dedication of its people, enriched by its immense resources and imbued with the spirit of progress, truly presents a land of opportunities.